Hey guys, Daniel here with another tutorial for you today. Have you ever wanted to do remote desktoping? Do you even know what that means? I don't know. But if you don't know what remote desktop is, it's basically a service where you pretty much go into someone else's computer and control it from yours. Now, I know that sounds a bit weird and it sounds like you're hacking, but um, it's actually not hacking. A lot of um, technology or troubleshooting companies use it uh, to help customers with their problems. So they'll pretty much um, log in to your computer and they'll be able to see your desktop on their desktop uh, as if they were sitting at your computer and control it from wherever they are, wherever they are in the world actually. So I'm going to show you a um, nice free way to do this. There is also paid versions which are more for business people such as GoToMeeting. Um, but today I'm going to show you one that is free. You can get a paid version. I've got uh, one on trial here on review from the company. But there is actually a uh, free version which works just as well. It's not for commercial use. But if you go over to your internet browser and type in team viewer team viewer yeah team viewer and that's the address teamviewer.com so this is the website you're just going to want to download it it's multi-platform so it'll work on as you can see down here uh, PC Mac Linux and all, it will also now support uh, the iPhone and iPod touch so there's an app you can download for that on the iTunes store now I've got one on review here and I'm just going to quickly connect to my PC to show you how easy it is. So I have it installed. I'm just going to search TeamViewer and there it is. And obviously the uh, the person whose computer you want to connect to on the other side of the world or wherever it may be must also have TeamViewer installed. So you can always send them the link and they can download like a light version which is just uh, so you can um, pretty much create a session with them. So I've got one open on my PC and you can see here there's two boxes. One says wait for a session and the other one says create a session. Now if you are trying to remote desktop into someone else's computer, you would want to type in create a session. Now obviously they'll have to give you the ID and the password, but that's fine. Um, if you are waiting for a session, so if someone else is going to remote desktop into your computer, you would actually you head on over to this wait for a session box and and give the person on the other end the ID and password. So I've got this program open up on my um on my PC over here and I'm just going to remote desktop into it. So I have the code with me. I'm just going to input it now. And then I'm just going to hit connect to partner. And as you can see, it says, please enter the session's password that is displayed on your partner's computer. So this is, you're going to have to ask them for the password. I'm just going to put mine in. Now these passwords aren't set up by the user, they're just randomly generated by the software. So as you can see, once it's all working, I am actually now remote desktoping into my PC, which is right next to me. <laughs> um, so you can actually, there's a few options up here, you can file transfer, so you can just pretty much send files between each other. Actions, um, so you can switch slides between partners, you can control alt delete. You can actually remote reboot, so you can reboot their computer from your computer or you can log it off or reboot it in safe mode. Um, you can all, There's also a view option here, so you can set the quality to auto select, optimize quality, so this will be optimized quality will be um, it'll be the highest graphic quality um, which you're getting from your PC. Optimize speed will mean it'll decrease the quality of the graphics which will optimize the speed over the internet. Uh, and you can also have custom settings. So I'm just gonna have over here uh, optimize quality. And once you do this uh, you'll automatically be able to see the desktop. What it does if you have um, if you have optimized speed selected it will automatically remove Oh, it won't remove the desktop, but it'll actually um, it'll decrease the quality of the desktop background and all the other images and graphics for that matter because 
by decreasing um, the graphic quality, it makes the you have more bandwidth for your uh, actual internet connection, so you won't get any lag on the mouse or anything like that. But right now, I'm going to set my quality to optimize quality, just to show you what it looks like. And uh, you can also at the bottom uh, right hand side here, we have a little preview box uh, with a little arrow which can pop up and down, just as you can see here. And you've got a little function, so you have voice over IP, my video, so you can actually share video. You can also have chat. So if I hit chat, you can chat with the other person on the other end. So just say, hello. Oh, sorry, you have to type in the chat message box here at the bottom. Say hello and send. And then you can see on the PC end, um, a window has popped up for the user, and it says the message that I typed. So I'm just going to type one back and say... and you get the idea so that's pretty much how the chat works so that's a very nice feature which is inbuilt and like I said you can also share your webcam and look this works perfectly just as if you were sitting in front of your computer um, let's just go through some of the other viewing um, options here uh, if if the person on the other end is running dual monitors, that means more than one monitor, you can actually select which monitor you want to view. Right now, I'm only running one monitor, so you can only view the one monitor. And you can also uh, show the whole desktop if they have two monitors. So it'll show the whole desktop acro across the landscape mode. You can also refresh the uh, screen in case it's all, uh, frozen or stuck. Um, you can also remove the wallpaper. This will also optimize the quality and the speed of your internet. And you can also show remote cursor. What this will do is it will actually show the cursor on the other end. So pretty much it will show the cursor on the PC end. So whatever I do here on my PC, it will show up on my, on my Mac when I view it, as well as my Mac cursor. So that's a very nice feature if you want to see what they're doing at the same time. Uh, but right now I'm going to switch that off as well. So you can pretty much see it works perfectly over here. I can go to the internet and do whatever I want. And this is also a really good tool if you're working from home or if you're working or if you're at work and you want to uh, log on to your home computer. You will need the um, Team Viewer application or software application open on the other end and you will need to know the um, ID and password prior to that but otherwise it should work perfectly and I can pretty much go to any website do anything I could do if I was actually in front of the machine so that's a very nice um, it's a very nice way of of being home without actually being home or being at your computer without actually being there Obviously, you can't use this for graphics-intensive things such as, well, it's not, it's not recommended. You can do it, but it's not recommended to use it for things like Photoshop or especially 3D games or any games for that matter, uh, just because it won't work very well. But that's pretty much it. Uh, remember, you can head over to teamviewer.com for a free version of this, or you can get a paid version, which is for commercial use. And uh, once you uh, hit this little X arrow here, it'll exit out. And that's pretty much it. it. It's that easy, guys, and it's free. So try it out. Tell me what you think. Post a video response. Post a text response. And, yeah, let us know what you think. See you later, guys.